Hey, check it out. We can animate metahumans using an audio file. Pretty cool. Yeah, so like the metahuman said, uh, all we need now is an audio file and we're able to create lip sync animation with metahumans. Natively in Unreal Engine, all we need to do is add a plugin that the folks at Epic developed for us to use in Unreal Engine 5.5. So I'm using the first pre-release of Unreal Engine 5.5 to record this video. So there's a little glitch here and there because it is a pre-release version, but uh, really the, the process of creating this lip sync animation is really, really great. So uh, first of all, of course, you'll need to make sure you have Unreal Engine 5.5 loaded. Of course, I've got the preview. If you don't have that loaded already, you're gonna go up to this plus button and add it to your library. Once you have 5.5 fully installed, then you can go to the marketplace to get the actual MetaHuman animator plugin. In the marketplace, you want to go to search products and type in MetaHuman. Once you hit enter, you should find the MetaHuman plugin. This is the one we want. You probably would have a free button here if you haven't acquired it already. You can click on that or you just click on the tile and click the free button that would appear here. Once you've acquired this plugin, you can install to engine. You'll, of course, want to install to version 5.5 that you've already installed. With Unreal 5.5 installed, you'll fire up a new project. And in my case, I added Oscar. So let me just close this sequence for a second here. And I'll go to add a MetaHuman by going to the Window menu and choosing Quixel Bridge. Now, this is where we're running into some of the glitches of the pre-release version. This background service stopped messages popping up for me. So I close it a few times first. Now I have logged into Bridge previously, so it is working on logging in using my account. And I seem to get this uh, Node.js background process uh, message a couple of times, maybe three times, no, nope, only two times this round. So that's pretty good. Uh, and now I do know I'm logged in because I have the sign out option. So instead of signing out, of course, what I want to do is check out the MetaHumans. Now, when I go to the MetaHumans tab, here's another little glitch. There is no imagery showing up for the MetaHumans, uh, but they are there. We, we see the download button. Now, all the MetaHumans that I've created custom for myself, they're for previous versions, of course. Uh, the MetaHuman creator interface right now doesn't have 5.5 as an option since it's still in pre-release. Well, I'm sure we'll see that soon. In the meantime, we can go ahead and use any of the MetaHuman presets to experiment with this particular animation tool. In my case, I scrolled down a bit and found Oscar. And when I select that tile for Oscar, uh, there's only one option right now, highest quality. And then I used the download button and the add button to get Oscar into the project. So any MetaHuman should work. And uh, once you've got your MetaHuman into your project, we can close bridge. And I did try using my older uh, Nick MetaHuman. Uh, it didn't work out. So for now, I'm just using Oscar. Now, the next thing we want to do is make sure that we bring in a dialogue audio file. So I recorded just using the uh, standard Windows audio recorder and ended up with this uh, WAV file. And it's just some a little bit of dialogue, which you heard at the beginning of this recording. And it's just a matter of clicking and dragging and releasing into the content browser to add that dialogue into Unreal Engine. So with the Unreal Engine dialogue in place, now all we need to do is process that for animation on the MetaHuman. So to do that, we're going to right click in the content browser, go to MetaHuman Animator, and all we need here is MetaHuman Performance. We won't need any of these other assets, it's just MetaHuman Performance. Selecting that, we can type in new dialogue. I'll save it just for good measure and double click to open that up. Now with an empty dialogue, or I'm sorry, an empty MetaHuman uh, performance asset, what we'll do is set this up instead of using depth footage, I'll click on here and choose audio. This will give us the opportunity to choose our dialogue asset. So I'll click on this drop down and type in the word dialogue. And there's our dialogue asset. Hey, check it out. We can so I'll select that. Using an audio file. And with the dialogue in place, now we'll want to choose which control rig to use. In my case, I went ahead and typed in the word face into the search. And hovering over here, I wanted to make sure that I chose the face control board that went with the uh, MetaHuman that I have loaded. So if I just move this over a little bit so it's in the capture space, 
uh, typing in the word face. Here is the face control board that is located in, uh, if you look at the path in that pop-up, it says game, metahumans, common, and faces highlighted. So that's the one I want. So I will select that. And then I want Oscar's face to uh, review the animation with. So I'll click this drop down arrow again, typing in face and oops, maybe it should be typed correctly. There we are. And I'm going to select Oscar's face. Now I get a little message here about uh, using an audio clock for synchronization in sequencer. I'm just saying yes to that for now. And so here we have just the face of Oscar. There's no grooms or anything, but that's fine. We're ready to process this now. So we've got the face loaded, the face control board and the audio. So we can just use the process button. There's no audio at this point, but the animation is happening. And finally, I can just play it back as a test. So go to the beginning and push play. Hey, check it out. We can animate metahumans using an audio file. Pretty cool. And that's all there is to it. At this point, I can go ahead and export this as a finished animation. So I'll click that and I'll just call this demo animation and save that into my metahumans folder. And I will use not the face arch type. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Oscar again. So I'm just going to click on this and type in face and choose Oscar's face and go ahead and create. It is that quick. So I can go ahead and close this. I'll use control shift S to save all of that. And here is my demo animation asset. Just start a whole new sequence and build it up again. So right click and of course, cinematics level sequence and demo SEQ, enter, control S to save, double click to open that up. We'll add Oscar to the sequence. So I'll go ahead and add actor to sequencer, BP Oscar. I'm not gonna need either of these control rigs. So I'm gonna select those two tracks, holding the control key down and hitting delete. And next I'll go ahead and create a camera for this sequence so we can see our character, move that into place. Maybe I will uh, go ahead and select this camera, check out the details. We're going to go ahead and focus on our metahuman. And maybe I'll extend this, make this a little bit more of a telephoto lens and position. And let's get our focus again. Okay. And that's good. So we've got our character in place. We've got our camera in place. I'm going to add the audio to the sequence. My playback is on frame zero. So add an audio track and yes we will go ahead and accept the audio clock we'll go into that audio track and add dialogue right here and finally for the face of the metahuman we're going to add that animation so add a track animation and demo animation we should be good to go hey check it out we can animate metahumans using an audio file pretty cool Fantastic. So uh, I hope this helps you get started with this and looking forward to all the updates that Epic has coming for us. Until the next time, have fun.